from Bat and Ball Cricket. Guys, thanks for tuning in for another one of my videos. Today, coming at you with kind of a review. Today's video is uh, what's in my kit bag. I've done a video like this before, and I thought I'd do another one for, um, for the 2014-2015 summer season here in Australia because I've basically had a full swap out of my kit since, uh, since that video. Guys, this is going to be a bit of a long one, so let's get straight into it. First of all, uh, my bag, which, uh, which stay tuned because I need to do a review of it as well. I've got a new bag and I've got a, well, it's basically a ginormous uh, size kit bag. It's got two big large pockets at the end. Um, it's got uh, four pockets on the side and then a, an actual back pocket on the, on the side. So guys, let's uh, get straight into it for, um, for what's, uh, what's in my kit bag. Guys, my number one training ball, I keep up this end along with um, some of my you know, more, more personal effects like uh, my, uh, my um, iPod player, my, uh, my glasses, and also then my training, training water bottle. Um, moving, uh, moving down the side, these side pockets are essentially my bits and bobs that I need on a, on a weekly or, or maybe not quite so frequent basis. So this first one is actually my um, shoe and, and sort of wet weather type pouch. So I've got a, an, another um, towel here that I've got that I can pull out to actually use for drawing off the ball in, in wet weather. As I've mentioned to you in that other video, I've got a bit of an idiosyncrasy um, about uh, having, a, having a sweatband. So I've got one in here that sits in my kit bag all the time. It's just one of those, um, one of those small things. Then the next one, we've got some uh, conversion studs, some actual replacement studs, um, both of the keys for, uh, for my two pairs of shoes, and also I've um, invested in a, in a set of bales, or replacement bales, um, because at the, in the grade that, um, that I play, we have a little bit of a habit of, of breaking bales, and they come a bit, uh, a bit rare. So um, I've also got, a, got a, set of, uh, a, a set of bales in there as well. Coming on to, the, the, to this middle pocket, this is where my uh, sort of bat, um, section in, in here, so I've got a, a bag of, of grips. Now they're just a standard diamond grip. Last year I was using a Chevron Chevron grip, and this year I uh, I went to the to the diamond grip. So I've got um I've got a, a, a packet of those in there. Um, I'm in a bit of a dilemma, which um you'll see uh, later on, because I've got a whole bag there of uh, of grips, but my uh, my new bat has got a different type of grip on it. Moving along. This is essentially my first aid section. So I've got my sunscreen, very fair and, and red hair, living in Australia. I don't, um, I don't, basically I don't leave the house or onto the cricket field or out anywhere around the yard without putting um, any, any sunscreen on. This one's an SPF 50 plus, so, um, so it's, uh, it's water resistant, sand and sweat resistance, and, uh, and so it keeps me from, from getting badly sunburnt. That then works um, in conjunction with my zinc. Um, I've got a little bit of a sensitive skin, so I actually use zinc on my face because it's a little bit more, more gentle, or a little bit more, a little bit gentler. Uh, I've got some cold spray for when you get those hits or knocks or or corkings. Um, some cold spray is good for those. And then I've also got in here a little bit of a, a first aid sort of um, um, the container uh, with some um, some uh, paracetamol. Um, a little container for all my contact lenses, just in case I need to wash them out. Wash them out, and some uh, some actual um, gastro tablets as well. Here, um, last place you want to be hit with gastro is on, is on a cricket field, so um, I carry some of those as well. In here, I also carry some urofen gel, so you can also rub into uh, to those aches and, and pains that you get, and also then some contact lens solution as well. Uh, I also carry a pen in that one there as well, just in case. Um, uh, we do our own scoring for our league, and uh, and so I carry that one just in case we uh, need a need a scorer pretty quickly. So that's that pouch. The one at the back here. I've been running most of our fielding drills for our club this season, and so I uh, I invested in a in a uh, a baseball mitt. This one's um, not a, a genuine baseball mitt because it doesn't have some of those features, but it's perfect for for um, running those quick fielding drills um, uh, for, for cricket. So I invested in one of those. And then the other end here is then just my stash of, uh, of training balls that we use for fielding and catching and, and throwdowns and, and those types of things. So I've got about half a dozen to, um, to a dozen of those in there. The last external pouch is around this side of the bag. It's actually a pouch that's designed for bat, but it's just a bit short. So what I've can, or what I use it for is my training stump. So this one is a uh, is just a target stump that I bought um, 
uh, the end of last season on sale. Metal spike on the bottom to go into the ground and then you don't have to worry about stumps falling over and putting them back in. Um, this one was originally bright orange, but um, I didn't like it being bright orange, so I just gave it a, a bit of a quick paint with um, some, uh, some high gloss um, paint that uh, I was using to paint my, paint my house about 12 or 18 months ago and still had a can left over. Right guys, that's the external part of the bag. Now let's get inside. So, like I said, it's a huge bag, and, uh, and so in here I've got my bag of watts. So I've got a pair of batting whites and a pair of bowling whites. Now I'm a little bit, I'm fairly tall, and so I actually had to get a pair of pants that I could let down a little bit because I was having my, my pants right up um, uh, from the, um, the under part of my, uh, or the bottom strap of my, uh, of my pads. Um, and so I just let them down a little bit, but then they're a bit long um, for, um, for when I'm fielding. So I've got a pair of, two pairs of pants, my playing shirt, um, my, uh, my playing socks, and also then um, uh, a bag with um, my, uh, my main um, sweat towels and um, sweatbands and those sort of stuff in there. So that's what's in that one. My little red pencil case that has my strapping gear in it. And then I always chuck in uh, a towel. And it's always uh, Evident Comets blue that, um, that I always have in there. Actually getting into the gear. We've got two pairs of batting gloves, which I've done a review of these. These are the Blue Dogs. Um, purebred players edition gloves in the sausage design make sure you check those guys out so um, one pair that I use um, dedicated for training and I've got those marked with a with a little um, tag on the end of those and one pair for batting and I've got those marked, marked and I've got my batting sweatband in there with my batting gloves on uh, on a batting theme or obviously still the batting theme with all my kit bag we've got my helmet and this guy is the Missouri Test Edition helmet bought last year on, on sale. Uh, there's also a review of, uh, of this guy on my channel. Um, so um, I bought him uh, at a reduced sale. The, both of the same as what my previous uh, helmet was. And as I mentioned in that video, I, that, um, I was very happy and would go to a Missouri helmet again. And that's what I did. Batting pads. Review of these guys to come. But these are the Blue Dog Sports player bred, um, or uh, pure bred, sorry, players edition batting pads, test match quality pads, very lightweight, very good padding, and, um, and, and very happy with these. So they were a replacement, um, uh, again, my, all my Blue Dog sports stuff was bought uh, at the end of season sales, so no, um, no endorsement at all. I bought these, but they were clearing um, old stock, so I got them at a pretty good price and pretty good service. Um, review of these guys to, to come, so um, um, make sure you, you um, have a look for that video uh, as well. Into uh, your actual the, the parts of your body that you really want to uh, really want to protect. I've actually got the uh, the bag from my helmet, but um, I don't use my helmet for that because I like a bit more of a rugged bag for that. We've got uh, my groin protector or box, um, and I use uh, a jock strap, so that's what that one is. And then I wear, use a, a combo set. Now this is the same combo set that I had in my last um, review. Um, I've simply um, needed to replace the, uh, the elastic straps. So they, they uh, are different, um, but the actual protection and, and padding themselves are, are the same. All right, my two pairs of shoes. Um, these are the same as last season, but I'll show them again very quickly. These are my bowling shoes, so these are my Asics Gel 180 Not Out. They're now up to the 210 version. Been very happy with, um, with my Asics shoes, and I've always used Asics as my bowling shoes. Probably won't go Asics again uh, the next time, and that's because of these guys here. And these are my New Balance 4030 um, shoes that I use as my batting shoes, and I've been sensationally happy with these shoes. And so I'm pretty sure that my bowling shoe will actually get replaced. Um, when that gets replaced, we'll get replaced with the, uh, the actual bowling boot, or, or not so much the bowling boot because it's not a boot, but the actual bowling shoe from uh, from New Balance. So that's the the forty the, the forty forty at the at this stage. All right, let's just go through a little of a few of the bibs and bobs. We've got my floppy white hat. Um, whenever it's summer and whenever it's not too windy, I I always feel in a, in a wide brim hat. Also got my club cap here, the Everton Comets. The last couple of features that I've got in here, I always carry my bat mallet. Um, at the moment, I've got some newer bats, and so whenever I get a chance, I, I give them a, a bit more of a tap in as well. And of course, a gripping cone, because you never know when you're going to have a blowout on, your, on a bat, and you need to put on a, a new grip. 
Now, the last two things here. My number two bat, that, uh, what I'm planning to be my number two bat for this season, and there's a review of this guy as well. Aldrin Sovereign Gold. And, uh, and look, I've, I've got a full review of this bat up on my channel, and the only difference that I've had since that video is I have put a, put a scuff sheet on the, on the bat, um, basically because I'm intending that uh, I will use this as a, as a, as a net bat on, on the bowling machine when, uh, when that happens. Now, the last thing to show you is I did a review on, uh, on what was going to be my number one bat, and I've subsequently had a change of thought. I've decided that the Gun and More Flare that I bought a few weeks ago is just a few ounces uh, too too heavy, and so I've decided that I'm going to, to part with that. It's still up here on the wall, but it is uh, it is for sale. So if you want to drop a comment, let me know that uh, if you might be interested, do that. But what I've done in the meantime is I've uh, I've done the leap and, and what I should have done originally, and I've actually uh, gone and bought a uh, a, a GM six six. In, uh, in original, so there will be a full review on this one, and this is a two pound seven um, uh, bat when it was dressed uh, in, in the shop, and I was subsequently um, given it um, some some oiling in a toe guard, so it's probably about the two eight mark. Picks up very very similar to uh, um, to my my SG, um, the the red SG from last year, and um, and look, this is this is why I wanted the bat in in, in two seven, and, and look, should have just gone out and bought it straight away. So full review. Of this bat to come in the very very near future. All right, guys, that's uh, my review, or rather my uh, what's in my kit bag for two th for the season 2014-2015. As you can see, a very very big swap out of my of my gear this year with uh, some two new bats and, and a whole stack load of um, new protective gear as well. Guys, that's simply because um, I am um, I'm playing and actually playing a higher grade of cricket this year, and uh, and I wanted to upgrade my uh, my actual protection. Um, this year just to, to make sure I don't have any problems sort of protection wise so look it's not that I wasn't happy with any of the SG gear in fact I've also got a video coming about um, my actual overall um, uh, happiness with uh, with my um, SG um, SG kit from from last season so sit tight for that one guys as always if you've got any questions or any comments make you drop there make sure you drop them down in the comments bar guys also go and have a look at uh, at the uh, or, or go and like the uh, Bat and Ball Cricket Facebook page. There's a link here for, uh, for that one as well. Alright guys, thanks for checking in, and we'll catch you again in the near future. Thanks guys, bye for now.